Here I have a couple of maps showing sinkholes that I have knowledge of. This one is a close-up of the sinkholes in the creek bed across the road from our house. They seem to come and go from time to time. I have discussed a couple of them in two previous videos, but in this video, taken several years later, we go back to the creek bed to see what has changed. The six red X's show the approximate locations of past and present sinkholes down there. Here in this second map clip, I have placed X's on all the sinkholes that I know about in our immediate area. Since this map takes in a larger area than does the pre previous one, I simply placed the six X's for the ones in our creek bed side by side. Without going into too much detail, the other sinkholes all have stories. I fell into one of them with my swather. I almost fell into one a year or so later with my swather a half mile away, but the farmer ran out and stopped me just in time. Years earlier, a farmer was missing one cow at milking time. He finally found her about 10 feet below ground level standing in a sinkhole. They had to have a bulldozer come and carve out a ramp so they could walk her out. The larger and most pervasive one in the area was about 40 feet in diameter. It just looked like a depression in the earth, but for many years, all the neighbors would dump old appliances like refrigerators, washing machines, etc. into it, and in several years, they would all disappear. Now on with the show. The 30th of September. Yeah. Leaves are starting to turn. Can only see the back side of the dinosaur. See the brush pile. Need some bird seed. And I'm going down to the creek to see a sinkhole on September 30th, about 4 p.m. Going down the driveway on September 30th. Going to look for sinkholes or the remains of sinkholes since the creek is dry. Okay, this is looking east on 10th Avenue, and the corner way down there is 250th Street. This piece here is New Borgs, and I'm gonna Try to cut right across this field because I think somewhere right about there is where I'm going. Well, I'm down in the creek and I think I'm a bit west of where the sinkhole was. Boy, there's a tree for you, huh? structure must be 15 20 feet of just roof structure wow well okay we're down here in the bottom I'm standing in about the lowest spot here So far, yeah. I suppose I have to look at my old videos. Just kind of walk along here. I remember that I was thinking maybe it was this tree that somebody had some rope attached to or something. Maybe it was part of a deer stand, but it certainly it ain't there. But if that was, then this is the general area where that sinkhole would have been. And it ain't now. This is the lowest part of the floor. Aha. Aha. This is 
Yeah, we'll keep going, but I think this is where uh, there was a sinkhole, the second sinkhole, the one that I showed in my second video back then. And wow, has this ever eroded since then. I don't know if that's, you know, going to nowhere some down, somewhere down there, probably, you know, right about there, if it still is. But look at that, all that material is gone. That, that wasn't there, and this stump was, you know, more prominent back then, if I'm in the right spot. That's certainly not it. Yeah, I think this is a newly eroded area. If there is a sinkhole, it's going to be down in that mess right there, or at least was. is well we're right around there I'm thinking well here's probably the tree so I'm guessing there X marks the X marks the spot okay that's it for now okay Daniel's going to show me another sinkhole that's further up stream probably 200 feet at least to the west of the where I was earlier today if you want to come around this side you can see the hole goes directly down into the ground you can actually see okay it's going down all right I'll walk over where you are There I'm facing west. Now I'm facing just about due east. And, and I guess right about there is where the hole goes into the ground. Okay. And then if you went that way a few hundred feet, you'd be where I was earlier. I don't know if that helps at all. Okay. Go ahead. Right about on this side right here, there was a tree that was in here, and right around where the roots went down into the ground, the water would just pour down into the ground. Yeah. When the when the uh, water would come, it would force the leaves in around the hole, so it would kind of slow it up, and then we'd pull the leaves away, and you could just hear it cascading down into the okay. ground. And how long ago was that? That was a few years back. Um, before the tree disappeared. Okay. And then this periodically just fills back in. Okay. With uh, when the water starts freshly coming down. All right. So it opens that? up and closes when it wants. You can see this. Shove this down in the ground. See, if that keeps going down, he's able to shove that deep into the ground. You can go pretty deep. Oh my. So wow, okay. It just keeps going. Wow, okay, okay. So there's just a cover of silt and leaves over the top of this area. Uh huh. No, that was that was over here, Dad. The tree's gone. Yeah. This see this area right here is what this is the one that I filmed. I'm pretty sure. And then we had a lot of water, and then it was the creek flowed on right by it. I came back another couple of days, and. This guy, it was flowing down here, but this is a huge amount. It was 2019. This is a huge amount of erosion, yep. you know, and I think I got a pretty good shot of the hole down there. Anyway, whatever right. is going on. And that's as far as I'm going to go. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I don't know if... Yeah. 
I mean, you can keep pushing this down. It's sunk easily a good foot and a half without too much effort. Uh huh. Yeah. And it just fills right now with a lot of debris and leaves. Sure. But yeah, definitely a sinkhole. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right. Well, I guess that does it. Thank you. Yes.